Okay, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is create a lot of select buttons. So one select button is basically for the selection purpose. Let's switch to the animator mode. Um, uh, right now we have already two select buttons here and if you click on a select button, it will select the nodes for you. And the select button itself will be highlighted into white. And if all its members being selected, it will be uh, gray. So basically, select button is just for selecting use. You can frame select them to select multiple uh, nodes here. And um, I will uh, cover these more details in uh, in next stage. Um, so for now, we see how to create a select button. Uh, if you want to create a select button, there's a lot, lot of ways to do that in MG Picker Studio. So uh, basically, you need to switch to the uh, select button tool, which is the hot key S. So switch to um, select button tool and if you select one node, say we want to create the picker select button for these um, head controls. So with this load being selected, we uh, use select button tool and click on this um, parallel area and drag. In this way, you create a select button interactively. So during this uh, dragging process, if you hold the space key, it will move the uh, select button as your as your, uh, mouse button mouse moved. Okay, just you did uh, you did this for uh, in Photoshop as well. Um, also, if I hold shift key, it will constrain that this thing into square um, Sides, okay. So the width and the height will be the same if you hold Shift key and hold the space key to move it. Press it to the right space in this picker panel and just release. And then the select button will be created. Okay, this is one way to create it uh, interactively. Um, another way to do this is just simple, maybe uh, select this uh, neck control and within this uh, select button tool, you just double click to create one. Uh, it will create the select button contain the nodes we selected, but uh, with the size, you will just use the default size 10 by 10. Okay, This is another way to really quickly uh, create a select button. Okay, another way to create a button, uh, say we have the um, root Control selected, and we go to this select button tool, and right click on this area and use a select single select buttons. And the difference between uh, other way to create a select button this way, you will label the, uh, the select button for you based on this uh, node name. Um, if you don't like this label, you just select this. Uh, select button and use backspace to clear its label. You can do uh, if you want to label it. You just double click and uh, type in a label. Say loot um, and to recover to its default color. You just out and click on any other uh, empty space to deselect the nodes. That way we will de highlight uh, this button. Okay, we want to center the label. We just go to the uh, label horizontal alignment and we set it to center. Okay, this way you create um, a select button by right clicking. Uh, but uh, if you are in edit tools, you still can add select, single select button and multiple select buttons. This is the same as here. Uh, so we just stick to the select button tool and uh, continue to create our select buttons. So if you want to create multiple select buttons, just select multiple nodes and then you go to add multiple select buttons. Okay, uh, it will uh, create a select button and lay out them from top to bottom and auto label them. You just delete and maybe hit T hockey to transform them and maybe with this transform indicator still activated, you just go to um, this alignment um, to align it to the to the center of the panel. Okay, so we just double click to confirm that transformation and out double out click on this empty area to uh, de-highlight them. 
So this is another way to create a snap button, uh, multiple buttons. Um, also, another way to create a snap button is actually copy and paste. So let's see, we want to copy this um, copy these select buttons for another picker files and just paste it. Uh, because the panel size is much more smaller than this, so uh, it's have overlap each other. But if you say select this and copy and paste, it will stay on the same arrange. Uh, I mean layout, and just move it. This is another way to uh, create a snap button is actually copy and paste. So another way to do this is um, duplicate. Uh, so say uh, you have already created these buttons for this node and you want to create all these uh, nodes snap button as well. So you just, uh, let's just edit it down. You just control D to duplicate and place it below the uh, the original select buttons. And what you're gonna do is to assign this note back to this um, select buttons as well. Okay. Um, this is another way to do this to duplicate. And regarding of the duplication, uh, there's not always. Um, Control D is to duplicate and place below the original. Um, select button. But if you s press Control shift d it will place at the left side of the original button. If you hold all key, say Control all d it will uh, duplicate it but uh, place above the original, original uh, buttons. And if you hold Control shift and all key, control, uh, all, all d uh, then you will place the duplicate select button at the right and the left side of the original select buttons. So these rules apply to all the picker buttons that support duplicating. Okay, no matter it's attribute button and command button or sliders, you just use these rules to duplicate them. Um, but don't forget to reassign these data uh, after duplication. So this is uh, another way to create a select button, but uh, we still got one really powerful select, select button creation way uh, haven't been mentioned. So let's blow up all these uh, select buttons. Uh, this way you can create all the select buttons based on these nodes we selected onto the right position in these panels. So how to do that? Um, we, you just go to these triangle menus here and prepare 3D view, okay? So um, what you gotta do is um, actually turn on the curves so you can select it. Um, so for now you just select that the nodes you want to create into the body panels. So we just grab some thing to demonstrate this really quick. Um, So for now, we we won't bother with these uh, finger controls because they are uh, too close with each other. So we can't just uh, create select buttons w with this 3D view. Otherwise, the created button will really overlap each other. Um, that won't be handy. So we just grab some uh, big controllers and then we go to uh, select button view 3D view. So this way. Uh, it do a lot of things for you. First, it creates all the select buttons for each nodes you selected in Maya 3D view. And the second, it will color itself to match the controller color as best as it can. Okay, and third, it will place at the right space uh, in this panel, picker panels. And actually, it does more than that. Uh, I just mentioned it's uh, afterward. Um, so for now we have all these select buttons being created. So the next thing we're gonna do is to translate, transform them, scale them. Um, so we just use T hotkey to 
enter the global transformation mode and double click to confirm or you just use R hotkey to into the local scale mode in this way they all scale with their their own pivots okay uh, so we just grab them and select uh, scale them and um, maybe scale this more uh, scale down this okay uh, so with this being done we can just uh, center them to the panel okay uh, we just create a lot of select buttons based on a 3d view uh, in one go um, the next thing we got to maybe it's um, create the select button for these fingers uh, they are so close to each other so it's not a good idea to create create it uh, based on 3d view so you just create it manually so another way to create a select button uh, we active the select button tool and select these three controls and we go to this area and we hold the control key and this will show up a plus sign uh, in this cursor so that means you are ready to create multiple pickup buttons okay um, so uh, with this nodes being selected you hold on control key and drag in this uh, area and you can also hold uh, space key to move that but control space key is for switching the input method in my OS so I just skip this demonstration um, okay you can hold the shift key to constrain this angle to the uh, multiple value of um, 45 degrees so we just control uh, constrain it vertically and just release and this way you can just create controls for these fingers and I, I found that it's the the most fast way to create select buttons say like these uh, fingers hair controls yeah uh, so right now we have the all the fingers being created we still got the thumb um, uh, we still got all this sorry but uh, keep in mind that in this way when you create a select button uh, multiple select button and a one drag um, it does matter the order you pick these notes so if you pick this way this way the, and this note then when you create drag in this um, it will create this picker and uh, this select button corresponding to this note and this to this this to this so this selection order does matters uh, when you create select button in this way okay um, so you already create this um, select buttons for these uh, fingers okay so for now we have covered all the ways you create um, a select button so let's move on to see uh, some other beauty of select button in MG Picker Studio okay and the first thing I want to mention is the post action okay post action um, if you grab one select button and go to attribute editor and there's post action attribute so uh, some select button you can set to switch to translate and some switch to rotate what does this mean uh, it means that when you use the picker um, if you click this select button and release within that select button it will switch to the tools once you grab and select the notes for you and this will be handy say uh, I create this select button and we'll switch to rotate it's handy because for this control there's no translation or uh, scale channels available for this control so it's better uh, if animator grab this note and already switch to notate tools that way uh, animator is ready to go and manipulate this um, chest and keyframe it okay so this is a really handy uh, attribute uh, you got to be uh, careful about uh, sometimes you need to check out these post actions but uh, most of the time you don't need to uh, because when you create 
say create these nodes is only located available. Uh, you create the nodes here, see it already switched to notate. Uh, because when you create a select button, uh, it will test out all the attributes. If uh, maybe translation, translation is all locked and scale is all locked, only rotation available, it will set the post action automatically to switch to rotate. If it's only translation available, it will switch to translate okay so most of the time you don't need to actually manually uh, uh, set up this but make sure you are using the native MG Pick Studio it's the um, pretty new features are just adding to the newly release okay uh, next thing I will mention is the links uh, you can link this left button together um, it's really useful for animator to use these lab buttons. Uh, to create the link, you just active this link tool and it has a hotkey with uh, L. Okay, so for link tool, you can just click on a slab button and drag it to the, its parent slab buttons and go down, go down, go down. This and for this, we just test if what Oh, it stands for this. So this is also a parent, uh, a trial node for the root. So we just use the L hockey and link it. So uh, how does this be used for you? You create links and what what does that mean? Um, you just active the preview tool and with this parent links already created you can just see oh the arrow going down 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 here and this is the root node for all this so you just double click this root select button and will select the nodes it contains in as contained as well as the trial nodes okay so this way you don't need to actually generate i mean if you want to have a function that animator can grab all the torso controls. You don't need to actually create one to contain all these nodes. In, uh, instead, you just link them together and just double click the parent nodes. Okay, So it's really handy, say, if uh, for fingers, we just do the same. Link, link. Uh, we still have one slap button uh, haven't been created. Uh, we just go ignore that. And for the link, you can just select multiple slap buttons and then drag to create multiple links. So this way, you have um, uh, have have a way to double click this hand control and select all its um, finger controls. Okay, so this is really handy. Uh, this is a link tool. So basically, for each um, picker, you you gotta link them together so that they they can select multiple controls with this double click. Okay, now I want to mention uh, the mirror re relationship. Uh, it's pretty critical for MG picker because uh, it's really handy for animators. Okay, we switch to the um, edit tools. Say uh, right now I have already created the select buttons for all these finger controls. I'm really pretty happy about uh, the layout here and the, the corners. So the next thing I I want to do is to create the select buttons for his uh, for her uh, right fingers. So you can just uh, go through the process, um, multiple create multiple buttons for each. Um, uh, fingers, but another way to do this is to grab these select buttons and use hotkey Control M, or you just go to Edit Menu and Mirror Mirror. Okay, so this way, um, it copied and mirrored these select buttons to the other side. And the next thing you gotta do, since right now, if you switch to Preview Tool, it still select the uh, left fingers for you. So how to switch them to right fingers? So you gotta select them, and then first we we have to check out the naming convention here. So uh, it has LF underscore 
and here we have RG underscore. So basically they are just different uh, strings. So what you gotta do is to slap these slap buttons and go to this attribute editor and go to the member area and you um, click this button to find and replace. Um, what we find is the um, this LF and replace it to um, what? Replace it to RG. Okay, so replace all, close, and you check out the these finger controls. You already become uh, select buttons for the right hand fingers okay uh, so this is really handy uh, we just delete these links and relink them together to the right hand controls okay this way we have done all the finger uh, finger slap buttons and the beauty of mirror relationship uh, because we use mirror to duplicate these buttons now we can just grab this uh, buttons and hold all key in edit tools when you move it and using hotkey I mean uh, sorry <laughs> using alt hotkey uh, you can move them in a uh, reflective way okay uh, so for these tools if I move them they they just don't move the mirror uh, item because they are they haven't been built mirror relationship so we can just switch to mirror relationship tool using the M hockey see there's a uh, uh, something that there's some digital display in this report so um, see this out 15 and all 15 they have the same number that means they are a pair so we just uh, click this button um, it plays a C sign on this and means uh, you this is the the first select button in this mirrored pair and you just click this one and have built up a mirror relationship in this way so uh, highlight the edit tool and using the alt hockey now you can just move them in a mirror way okay so uh, the next thing uh, you gotta do is build up the mirror re relationship so that when in designer mode when you edit this picker buttons uh, you can it comes really handy since you can mirror, uh, move it in mirror way also you can assign uh, uh, attribute normally it just affect the selected button but if you hold all key it will affect the mirrored item as well so this applies all the all the attribute list out here and the beauty of mirror relationship um, we switch to the uh, create uh, the preview tool if I uh, hold all key and grab these notes it will grab the mirrored controls as well so it's really handy if animator want to select all the fingers for both hands uh, he, he just uh, out and frame select all this they, they will select the mirror controls um, for you so this is the beauty of mirror relationship um, you don't forget to assign this mirror relationship to select buttons. Okay, the last thing I want to mention uh, about the select button is the uh, member view of one select button. So what does this mean? Uh, let's grab multiple Maya nodes and create one select button. So this single select button contain multiple Maya nodes as its members. So we switch to the uh, animator mode and say if I want to uh, select all the multiple, multiple nodes we just single click this button right but how about I want to access access to select only one of them so um, for this purpose we just hold control key or the shift key and right click on this select button and suddenly there's a sub view for this select button pop up and if you want to grab say these notes these notes these notes um, they will be available for this sub view. 
Okay, this is all I want to mention about this lab button. And let's move on to uh, check out the command buttons.